I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. Look at this hair. I can't do nothing with it. It just sits there on top of my head. You know what? The only thing I hate about the holidays is cleaning up all those dishes that I don't do. So I always get into an argument with people that helps me that cleans up. Why do you have to cook all this food? Look at all these dishes we got to watch. All those pots and pans. Oh man, that was a lot of dishes had to be clean. And all those, all up all night long cooking. Here come Christmas. One of us in the family's making gumbo. I got to cook a turkey. A ham, a leg of lamb, three pecan pies, four potato pies, because everybody needs their own potato pie. I got to get a potato pie for our older auntie. My great auntie, she needs her potato pie. Now, I'm so happy I got to do this, but there's only two people live here, and one of us, He's got to wash all the dishes. That person's name is going to say unnamed. See this person, they, they're a little up. Show my hair, show my hair, Nate. I'm going out of that tail. Can you hear him? <laughs> Can you hear the person that's, <laughs> that want to be unnameless? So, you guys, I'm happy that I am going to cook. You know, I've been resting up, walking before I have the energy to uh, cook all this food, make the, the dressing, the cornbread from scratch, and make the seafood dressing, make the giblet gravy. See, because I can do Thanksgiving dinner, remember? Now, this would be my Thanksgiving Christmas slash dinner. Some people just for Christmas just cook a ham, but... I'm cooking a ham and a turkey. So, I came here just to chat, shit chatting with you and have a little conversation about what we was talking about. I, you know, I finally convinced this person that should stay nameless that we should do this. They were talking about, well, we gotta be way across town. Yes, we got to do a four-hour four drive after we cook to go to a, another party. Then after that party, we got to do a seven-hour drive to go to another party. And by the time we get home, it'll be around two o'clock. But we have obligation and people have invited us to their house. And we must come because this is Christmas and this is what we do. And so I say to you all, and I'm going to continue saying to you, to Christmas is gone. Merry Christmas. And on New Year's Day, it'll be a year since I've been here. Remember? When you first see me in the casino, I'll be there again. This time, I'm going to tag you in.